You might recall our discussion on NASA's groundbreaking DART mission. Today, we're back with the latest updates and insights into how this mission is significantly shaping our planetary defense strategies. New images from NASA have deepened our understanding of the asteroid system involved. In this video, we'll explore these new insights and their implications for the future of planetary defense. So, without further ado, let's get started. The DART mission sent a spacecraft, about the size of a refrigerator, millions of miles into space to hit the asteroid Dimorphos, which measures about 530 feet in diameter and orbits around Didymos, a larger asteroid approximately 2,560 feet wide. Both are considered near-Earth objects, located within 7 million miles of Earth. On September 26, 2022, the spacecraft successfully crashed into Dimorphos at a speed of roughly 14,000 miles per hour. This collision notably shortened Dimorphos's orbit around Didymos by 33 minutes, far exceeding the mission's initial goal of altering the orbit by just 73 seconds, showcasing the potential to change an asteroid's path through direct impact. Before this mission, our understanding of the surfaces of these asteroids was limited. Images captured before the collision revealed that Dimorphos is scattered with large boulders and has a rugged surface, resembling a loosely connected pile of rubble. Recent analyses further illuminate the nature of these celestial bodies. The team concluded that Dimorphos likely broke off from Didymos during a large mass shedding event, a natural process that can accelerate the formation of smaller asteroids. Studies suggest Didymos's surface is substantially older than Dimorphos's, with Didymos estimated to be 12.5 million years old and Dimorphos less than 300,000 years old. This age difference implies Dimorphos's surface is weaker, which may have contributed to the effectiveness of the DART impact in altering its orbit. In addition, research comparing the boulders on both asteroids indicates that Dimorphos might have formed in stages from material originating from Didymos, supporting the hypothesis that it spun off from the larger asteroid. A third study highlighted similarities between the boulders on Dimorphos and those found on rubble pile asteroids, suggesting a common formation mechanism. The impact of the DART mission also created a debris tail from over 10 million kilograms of asteroid material, stretching thousands of kilometers. Observations from the Hubble Space Telescope indicate that this tail behaved like those seen on active asteroids, hinting that the impact may have given Dimorphos more comet-like characteristics. Moreover, the mission showcased the Yarkovsky effect in action, a phenomenon where an asteroid's path can gradually change as it absorbs sunlight and re-emits it as heat. This effect complicates the prediction of the asteroid's future trajectory. NASA's DART mission has really opened up new possibilities for keeping our planet safe from asteroids. By sending a spacecraft at high speed into Dimorphos, they managed to change its orbit around another asteroid, Didymos. It's pretty incredible when you think about it. We've got the technology to push asteroids away if they ever threaten Earth. However, just pushing asteroids isn't enough. We also need to spot them early. The sooner we find a dangerous asteroid, the better our chances of stopping it. To enhance our ability to detect potentially dangerous asteroids, NASA is planning to launch a new telescope called the Near-Earth Object Surveyor in 2026. This special telescope will use infrared to see and study asteroids that could be a threat to us. It will help us keep an eye on their paths and predict if they might collide with Earth, giving us time to react and plan how to deflect them. The information from the DART mission is also helping develop other ways to move asteroids. One method involves placing a spacecraft near an asteroid to gently pull it into a new path using gravity. Another, more extreme method, would use a nuclear explosion to push the asteroid in a different direction. Each method has its pros and cons, depending on how big, what it's made of, and where the asteroid is going. The success of this mission also suggests that using different methods together might work even better. For instance, first using a high-speed impact to nudge the asteroid, and then using a gravity tractor to make small adjustments, could make sure the asteroid stays off a collision course with Earth.
What if we fail to deflect an asteroid in time? The effects of an asteroid impact are influenced by the size, speed, and composition of the asteroid, as well as the impact location. A large asteroid striking Earth could unleash catastrophic events, from tsunamis and fires to significant climate changes. This can be mitigated by studying past impacts and employing advanced computer simulations. The kinetic energy transferred during impact plays a significant role. This energy generates massive shock waves that propagate through Earth's surface and atmosphere. The asteroid's velocity and mass, along with the terrain it impacts, determine the intensity of these shock waves. The entry angle of an asteroid also affects potential damage. Steeper angles can produce severe shock waves, increase seismic activities, and heighten the risk of fires and tidal waves, making the impact more destructive. The composition of the asteroid dictates the extent of the impact. Metallic asteroids can cause greater physical destruction if they reach the surface, whereas rocky asteroids, which tend to break up in the atmosphere, still pose risks depending on the size and quantity of the fragments. The impact location is critical. An ocean impact might generate massive tsunamis, affecting coastal cities. A land impact could release dust and debris into the atmosphere, potentially leading to climate changes similar to a nuclear winter effect, where blocked sunlight leads to global cooling. And that's what the DART mission and other future missions are here for, to protect our planet from such threats. The upcoming European Space Agency's HERA mission in 2024 aims to build on DART's success by conducting detailed surveys of Dimorphos and Didymos. This will provide crucial data on the impact's effects and the asteroid's structural properties, aiding scientists in refining asteroid dynamics models and improving deflection techniques. This mission is a key part of the broader asteroid impact and deflection assessment collaboration between NASA and ESA, highlighting the importance of international cooperation. Also, NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office plays a crucial role in this effort by tracking and characterizing potentially hazardous objects. Alongside international partners, PDCO conducts simulations and exercises to refine response strategies. The upcoming NEO Surveyor mission in 2026 will enhance detection capabilities, providing early warnings that allow more time to develop and implement deflection strategies. Thanks for joining this stellar journey. And remember, as we keep our eyes to the skies, the universe continues to unfold its mysteries.